And welcome back to Power Tracks. We're in Montgomery, Alabama, and already tonight, Army, we have sat here and watched qualifying rounds, and we have seen some hair-raising jumps from these cars because the ramps are so steep. As a matter of fact, Gravedigger, just a few moments ago, had a harrowing run down this long course. What happens, Richard, the ramps are actually too steep now. Track Builders Incorporated, Alan Jackson and his crew are going to come and knock these ramps down. The problem is, the steeper the ramp, the harder you're going to land on the front of the vehicle and that's what's tearing them up in Montgomery. Well, Grave Digger and Dennis Anderson out of it as he broke in qualifying. We check out our first round of pairings, though, and the first uh, line of competitors will be Jim Kramer and Bigfoot against Bob Brain and Wild Hair. Then Bob's brother, John Brain, takes on Marvin Smith and Stomper. USA won your national champion, Rod Litzow, taking on Chandler Lloyd in overtime. King Kong with Steve Kane against No Problem John Moore, then Carolina Crusher, Gary Porter against Nightlife and Dave Weissort. And we'll wrap it up with Jeff Dane, Awesome Kong, winner of two in a row, taking on the Jersey Outlaw, Nick Rossi. The competition is top flight tonight as we get ready for round one action. And coming out first, of course, is going to be Jim Kramer and Bigfoot. He is a legendary figure in monster truck racing as he takes on Bob Brain and Wild Hair out of Jefferson City, Missouri. Richard, it's kind of interesting. Both of these young men out of the state of Missouri, one in a Chevrolet, trying to make a name for himself, one in a Ford that has made a great name for himself, carrying the colors of Bigfoot. Kramer will advance with the blue Ford. Jim Kramer and Bigfoot is trying to regain lost honor tonight in Montgomery. The last time we saw Bigfoot, he lost the national championship to USA 1. And tonight's a big night for Jim Kramer, I would think, Army. As we get ready for our second round of competitors, it is Bob's brother, John Breen, out of Jefferson City, Missouri. John, of course, drives the uh, Mad Dog, and he's taken on a guy you nicknamed many months ago, Starvin' Marvin Smith, out of Arnold, Missouri, the Stomper 2 Chevrolet. You know, Richard, I just noticed something. The first four monster trucks to go in competition, all out of the Show Me State of Missouri. A mad Dog will be lining up on the right side, setting to his left, the Stomper 2, Marvin Smith. Starvin' Marvin, like you said a moment ago, carrying that Stomper color, Chevrolet side by side. The winner should be paired against Bigfoot as he's already won. Who's going to be the Chevrolet to go against him? A good run. They're both up in the air. Mad Dog, I believe, Richard, from my viewpoint, looks to be the winner. John Breen has pulled off an upset. He has beat the Stomper 2 machine. You see on this replay, John excelled in uh, power there, coming across the final set of jump cars, took him right there at the finish line. I would call that an upset, Army, as we get ready next to see Chandler Lloyd in overtime. He is scheduled to take on the national champion, Rod Litzow. However, I have not seen Rod come out of the pit areas. Now, you know this track was treacherous in qualifying. Is there a problem with the USA 1 machine? I understand Army has got Rod Litzow trackside now. Rod, that first round of qualifying seems awfully tough out there. Dennis Anderson's not going to make it back. We just received word. You're not going to be able to make the first round call. What happened? Well, I, when I launched on that second set of cars, and it came down that nosedive, and I kind of missed the set of cars, it, it snapped my front knuckle, the steering knuckle, which is used for steering in the front. It split the bottom half, so if I were to try to run it like that, the tire would probably break off when I'm in the air in the next run, so we're just taking it. We're going to pull out tonight and get it ready for tomorrow. So your newly crowned national champion is going to have to wait a little bit longer to defend this championship. So how tough is this course tonight, Army? Already Grave Digger out of the action, and now your national champion, Rod Litzow. Chandler Lloyd is making a bye run in overtime. A little bit of problem, the tailgate bell. Oh, he's in trouble. Look Richard. out. He has hit the wall, Army. Chandler Lloyd, looks like the brakes went away on him, Richard. He's outside, everything is okay, but you can see where he actually made contact with the outside retaining wall. People standing in the corner down there didn't think everything was okay as they scatter on the replay you see right there. He hit that retaining wall. Really, that was probably good that he did that. It, it seemed to straighten up the truck. Well, Richard standing right down here. He was coming directly towards us on the finish line. Had he not hit that wall, he would not have been able to get out of this building. So Chandler Lloyd avoids disaster in a bye run. Army, I know you spent time with him earlier this afternoon in Montgomery. Now Chandler, you're not new to the sport, but we haven't seen you for a while. What's the reason behind that? Well, we're trying to get the new truck ready. It's, uh, it's an 89. It's a GMC. Uh, we had 85, and it was doing a good job, but we wanted to uh, keep up and uh, had to update the truck. Chandler, you were telling me yesterday at one time in your life you're a little bit down on your luck, and GMC had something to do to turn that around. Could you explain that to me a little bit? 
Sure can. I went broke. I'd uh, tried it in the construction business and uh, went broke. I went to uh, GMC trying to buy a dump truck and they took the gamble and they financed me a dump truck. I'd lost everything I had. Now uh, the, the tables have turned. I've got four GMC dump trucks, a tractor trailer, everything I own is GMC, including my personal vehicles. Chandler, I noticed the name of the vehicle is Overtime. I also noticed on the side of the vehicle there's a 41 hour sign. What's significant about the 41 hours? Well, we, we run a normal job. It's uh, 7.30 to 5. The only time we can work on is at night. So the 41st hour is overtime. That's correct. Well, Chandler Lloyd, a uh, nice guy, but we find out his night is over. He broke a in that accident. We're going to be back with more power tracks in just a moment. Back in Montgomery, Alabama, Army, where this humdinger of a track tonight has already taken out. USA 1, Brave Digger, now at the name Overtime to the list. But first round action continues with John Moore, Lafayette, Tennessee, and no problem taking on Steve Kane and King Kong from Killeen, Texas. King Kong working at left lane to perfection. This kid is an up-and-comer. He's going to take a win. John Moore, a real strong family man, not going to get past this round of eliminations, Richard. You know, John normally has his wife, Heidi, and daughter, Jill, on the circuit with him this weekend. They're not here. They're back in uh, Tennessee on a brownie troop excursion. But John comes anyway and puts on a good show. Hopefully, we'll see him back later in more competition. Coming out next, nice kid out of Nebraska, Dave Weissuerk, nightlife machine. He is taking on a real veteran, Gary Porter, Carolina crusher Gary out of Wadesboro, North Carolina. Porter's been with us on the tour all year long. He's up in the national points chase, but he's already looking to 89, Richard. He's going to build a new truck. Meanwhile, the nightlife truck, he's a new kid on the block trying to make a name for himself. And look at this, a whole shot left lane. I don't know. It's awfully close. I believe the win will go to the nightlife. Yeah. Dave Wysorek may be a new kid on the circuit, but he looked like a veteran in that run. He knocks off Gary Porter and Carolina Crusher. And scheduled out next is going to be another new driver on the circuit. He is Nick Rossi out of Pensacola, New Jersey, in the Jersey Outlaw. This is a 1988 Ford. Now, Nick is married, his wife Dawn, and he have two daughters, aged one and three. And earlier this afternoon, Army spent the afternoon with Nick Rossi. One of the trucks we're really excited about having on a Renegade tour during the 1989 season will be the Jersey Outlaw of Nick Rossi, one of the Ford brand products. Now, Nick, you ran with us earlier this year in Richmond, Virginia, and kind of a unique thing happened. Can you explain that to us? Uh, I kind of locked horns with another monster truck, Casper. He came into my lane, and he locked wheels. He went across the front end of my truck, then flipped over and just got the truck back together. I took the whole top of the engine apart. It was all ripped off completely, the carburetors, the, every, the whole front of the truck, anything from the cab floor was destroyed. So Nick Rossi may be an individual that turned a little bit of disaster into an advantage. He's got a brand new truck, new sheet metal. He knows what the competition's like. We're going to be keeping an eye on him through the 89 Tour. Well, I'll tell you, he has got a tough tour ahead of him as he is going to be facing Steve Dane, Awesome Kong. This confident kid out of Texas Army is on a roll. He has won the last two Renegades TNT Monster Truck Challenge events. And Nick Rossi has got his hands full. Rich, I tell you, a lot of people don't realize this truck is actually owned by his brother, Jeff. He's hired to drive it. This is what he does for a living. He's awfully good at it. Meanwhile, the Jersey Outlaw will be disqualified. He did not cross the finish line properly. Well, the reason being, he got kicked off of those cars. Watch Army on the replay. He comes across, hits hard, bounces to the left, and nearly flips that truck over. He really did a fantastic job of saving the vehicle. Yeah, some heads up driving by the kid out of New Jersey. So Steve Dane is one again, and Awesome Kong, as we get ready to move into our first race of quarterfinal round competition, it's going to be Jim Kramer and Bigfoot out for a regain pride tonight. Regain lost pride, I might say, taking on John Moore, no problem. John is back because he was the second fastest loser from the first round of action. So Richard, a lot of changes taking place at this time of the year. For example, Kramer is really leaning on this board. They're going to be building a new truck for next year, so will no problem. So everybody's learning. They're trying to get down in for 89. Well, they're fine-tuning the trucks, but they're racing hard. Jim Kramer, the winner in Bigfoot. Let's go trackside. Jim Kramer probably has more time behind the wheel of a monster truck than I would say anybody in the country. Jimmy be running all kind of tracks. This track tonight seems to be causing a whole lot of problems for these fellas. What's causing it? 
Well, if you notice, the ramp was a little bit uh, too steep on the inclination there, and, and the track crew was uh, sharp enough to come out and make it a little bit uh, uh, less steep. It gives us a chance to get a little bit more speed and also keep the trucks down on the cars and keep the trucks alive. Can you put Bigfoot in that winter circle tonight? I was going to try. We got uh, Steve Dana, of course, to come up again. So we got the Mad Dog coming back as fast as Loser. We got a lot of good competition yet. I'm going to try my best. Well, Army, right now, I don't think I'd put bets on any favorite going into this competition. This track has been so tough. John Breen now, Mad Dog, taking on Carolina Crusher. And Gary Porter, Gary is coming back because he was the third fastest loser, and he's going to take overtime's place. Chandler Lloyd out from that accident earlier. John Breen jumps out in the right lane, but look, the Carolina Crusher comes back to take a win, Richard. He was already out of the thing, comes back in by the break rule, but he's staying alive. And you know, Gary Porter on the back of that Chevrolet, he has written, have you driven over a Ford lately? He's going to get his chance because he's going to face Bigfoot in the semifinals. Still to come, though, King Kong, Nightlife, Awesome Kong and Wild Hair, more quarterfinal round competition on Power Track than ESPN straight ahead. And welcome back to Power Tracks. I'm Richard Leake, along with Army Armstrong. The Renegades TNT Monster Truck Challenge continues. Tonight, Montgomery, Alabama, capacity crowd on hand. It is quarterfinal round competition as King Kong, driven by Steve Kane, is going to be taking on a real nice kid, Dave Wysorek in Nightlife. So, Richard, Dave Wysorek is kind of the all-American boy. He's a new kid on the block, helps everybody out, drives the Chevrolet, gets a good lead in the right lane, but look at that Texas Ford come back. Texas Ford will be going to the next round. But another great tight race. Dave Wysorek gives it his all, but he comes up short right here at the end. So Steve Kane and King Kong out of Colleen. Army, try saying that five times, but you can't do it. He advances to the semifinals, and this could be an interesting semifinal. If Awesome Kong wins, he'll take on King Kong. They are brother trucks, both owned by Jeff Dane out of Colleen, Texas, and they've never raced against each other. Let's go trackside. Army's got Steve now. Well, Steve, we just received word there's a possibility since you're going into the semifinals, you may have to run your team truck. Awesome Kong. What do you think about that? Well, he out horsepowers me, but I'm going to give it my best, you know. When it comes down to that, is there any kind of uh, theory or anything on it or just the best truck win? Just more horsepower. We're not going to sandbag. We're going to do it. Do a good show. You're going to do what good Texans do. You're just going to have a war out there. That's right. We're going to do it all. Back to you, Richard. These guys are serious tonight. Now, maybe they're serious, Army, but Steve just admitted that if he races this kid, Jeff Dane and Awesome Kong, he's going to get beat because he says the more horsepower will win tonight, and he's got less horsepower. So we're going to have to wait and see. First, Awesome Kong has to get by a tough competitor, put on a good show tonight. We're talking about one of the Breen boys and Wild Hair. Bob Breen comes out of Missouri now. Part of the brother team, his brother drives the Mad Dog vehicle. Bob comes out with a vehicle that's normally used as research and development. They're trying to use this vehicle as a test lab. Let's see what's going to happen oh, on the run. Hey, what a whole shot. School's out in the test lab. Awesome call. Just put him away big time, Richard. A wild hair came back because he was the fastest loser in the first round. And he was another loser in this round. Awesome Kong. And uh, Steve Dane just blew him away. But then that's been the story on this renegade circuit as we go trackside. Well, Richard, we're kind of in a unique situation right here. That being two trucks from the same team are going to be going against each other. Were you aware that a win in this round would put you against your other truck in the semis? Yeah, I would. Uh, it happens every now and then. I got to run our Jeff Dane. He owns both vehicles. He's my brother. And uh, he built them both. I got a little bigger motor. I think I got the advantage. But... This kid that we taught how to drive, he's doing a job. Uh, we were talking to him a moment ago, and I asked him, I said, hey, he owns both trucks. Is there going to be any kind of cushy here? And he said, no, we're both going to go for it. Is that the way you Texans do it? Well, he pays us by the amount we win. So, of course, he wants to win more money, and so do I. And uh, I know well he's going to give it his best shot. So I'm going to have to go a little harder than I've been going. So, Army, now we know Steve Dane's motivation all these weeks. It's money is exactly what it is. We're ready for the semifinal round of competition. It is Bigfoot and Jim Kramer taking on Gary Porter, Carolina Crusher, and Army on the back of the Carolina Crusher machine. That Chevrolet is written. Have you driven over a Ford lately? He's got his chance now. Richard, he's got his chance. He's got his work cut out for him. This Ford is bad to the bone with Jim Kramer doing a drive and look at the right lane Ford. Leaps out for the win. Well, I'll tell you, if you're going to pick on a Ford, that is not one to pick on. Bigfoot has won it. He moves to the finals 
And that's exactly where Jim Cramer told us earlier he wanted to be. Let's go trackside. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Cramer's been here many times before talking to the crew chief right now because he's going into the final. How did that run feel to you? Uh, real good. I'm just trying to practice making a nice steady run, which I know I'm going to need to beat awesome. So you're pretty well assured that you're going to be running Steve Dane in the final this thing. Well, you never can tell. You look at King Kong, he's been making just a real good run. He's nice and steady, and uh, anything could happen there. I said awesome. Maybe I shouldn't have, you know. It's going to be one of those orange trucks, and they're both going to be tough. Which lane are you going to be coming out of? Uh, the lane I've been in all night. I feel at home in it. I got fastest uh, time, and uh, I'm going to stick with it unless uh, something changes very drastically. All right, so Jim Cramer and Bigfoot has made it to the finals, and the crowd in Montgomery loves that fact. When we come back from a commercial break, an interesting matchup. Our other semifinal has Steve Dane and Awesome Kong against Steve Kane and King Kong. They're both owned by Jeff Dane out of Colleen, Texas. Who will be the Supreme Kong? We'll find out in a minute on Power Tracks. Warm up with TNT Motorsports in the winter time. On the weekend of January 6th through the 8th, Chevy Trucks brings the Red Man TNT All-American Pulling Series to the Ocean Center, Daytona Beach, Florida. The Lee County Civic Center, Fort Myers, Florida. The Charleston Civic Center, Charleston, West Virginia. And the Centroplex in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. On the weekend of January 13th through the 15th, the truck and tractor pulling action can be found in the Roanoke Civic Center, Roanoke, Virginia the Omni in Atlanta, Georgia, and Freeman Coliseum in San Antonio, Texas. The big trucks will race side by side this winter when the renegade TNT Monster Truck Challenge visits the St. Paul Civic Center, St. Paul, Minnesota, January 6th through the 7th, and the Leon County Civic Center in Tallahassee, Florida, January 13th and 14th. TNT Motorsports is proud to bring the nation's best truck and tractor pulling and monster racing to your hometown. See you there. In Montgomery, Alabama, who is going to face Bigfoot and Jim Cramer in the finals? One of these two brother monster trucks. Either Steve Kane and King Kong or Steve Dane and Awesome Kong. Both trucks owned by Jeff Dane out of Colleen, Texas Army. I'm confused. Richard, don't be confused. It kind of reminds me of the 50s on a Saturday night in the local drive-in movie. The Kongs are in town. The winner gets to dance with uh -oh, Bigfoot for the championship. Army. Oh, what happened here? A dry shaft loop fell out of the vehicle. Now, you're required to have two. That was the third strap, so he's okay. He will be able to go in the final. All right, so do most of the monster truck drivers carry an extra one? Yeah, just for safety. Like I say, the real estate, you have to have a loop at the front and the rear of the drive shaft. That was one from the center. All right, as you heard earlier in an interview with Steve Kane, driver King Kong, he said horsepower would determine the winner of this race. He also said Steve Dane and Awesome Kong had more horsepower, so in essence, Awesome Kong ought to win it, Army. On paper, yes, but like Jim Cramer said a moment ago, anybody can still get in the final. We know it's going to be an orange truck against a blue truck. The question, will it be the orange Ford or the orange Chevrolet? And look at that Chevrolet come out. What a whole shot. Great driving by the kid out of Texas. Steve Dane has done it again. He has won an awesome Kong and Army. He won it right there at the starting gate. Came out a perfect light. He cut the Al Goss light to perfection. He'll be in the finals against Foot. So once again, it's going to be the ultimate final matchup. Chevrolet taking on Ford. Bigfoot Jim Cramer against Steve Dane and Awesome Kong. But right now it's time to talk junk. That's right, I said junk on our Renegades TNT Question of the Week. And our question of the week comes from Betty King Cade out of Atco, New Jersey. And Betty wants to know where we get the junk cars used on the monster truck circuit. Well, Betty, that's a short question, but it's got kind of a long answer. All the junk cars used come actually from local junkyard dealers, and TNT Motorsports pays about $50 to $100 a car. They use anywhere from $25 to $50 per event. Now, they've got to be full-size cars because a compact car, the monster trucks would slip off the side of them. So they're full-size cars. They break the glass out of them. They take the batteries out and the gas tanks out for safety reasons. Now, on the inside of the junk cars, they put bales of hay and straw. Now, the reason for this is to help keep the cars from completely collapsing. And occasionally, when we go through these junk cars, we even find some nice gift ideas. Like, I've got my wife a new pair of boots for Christmas, it looks like. Well, maybe not. But anyway, if you have a question of the week, send it to TNT Motorsports, 5515 Poplar Park Boulevard, Louisville, Kentucky, 40228. 
And if we use your question on a future ESPN show, we'll send you a TNT Motorsports racing hat and maybe we'll even throw in a new pair of boots. Well, don't count on a new pair of boots, but send us those questions to TNT Motorsports, 5515 Poplar Park Boulevard, Louisville, Kentucky, 40228. Army, are you ready for the showdown? It is the finals. Awesome Kong, the Chevrolet against Bigfoot and the Ford. Richard, you called it a showdown. That's exactly what it is. The kid out of Texas has never beaten Jim Kramer. He wants it bad. He's going after him. Kramer knows it. He's an old pro, but Kramer's got to hold off the kid out of Texas. Richard, I don't know. Look how close it is at the finish line we cannot tell who won it watch on this replay both of them come off side by side both i guess you might say army got a whole shot bigfoot and awesome kong i still can't say who won as steve dane skied high and gave it his all trying to get this win let's go trackside in just a moment maybe army you've got the officials down there maybe you can give us the winner of this final round in montgomery both drivers stepping out of their vehicles. Steve, you go over to congratulate Jim. Do you have any idea who won that race? From our viewpoint, we could not tell. I was too busy uh, thinking about stopping her. I mean, I really don't know. Jim Cranger back into the truck. We just received word that Steve Dane was the official winner. I've been running with Jim. I raced him so many times. I never had a chance to beat him. He, to me, he seemed unbeatable. You know, all the magazine stuff I read about him was true and Bigfoot. Finally, I did it one time. I gave it all. That, that truck ran all his worth. It probably only lost by a couple hundreds, but a couple hundreds will do it, you know? And uh, whenever you run uh, Steve Dane, well, you got to run hard. He runs hard. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as always, Bigfoot, a class act. We'll be following the rest of the tour. Back to you, Richard. Okay, Army, so the big story tonight has to be Steve Dane and Awesome Kong out of Texas. He has won his third event in a row tonight by two one-hundredths of a second and a photo finish over Bigfoot. For Army Armstrong, I'm Richard Leake. We'll see you again on the tracks across America. Join us next time for Power Tracks, the most powerful sport on earth. Brought to you by TNT Motorsports, the nation's leader in pulling and monster truck racing.